good morning YouTube it is Amy keto maniac and I am driving to work Monday morning it is 37 degrees there are bulb blooms that's the one I want on the trees spring is on its way I'm very excited um, walked with Daisy and with Robert a little bit and she pooped I'm very glad Robert thought he didn't understand why I wanted to go with them. He's like, well, it's your day off. Don't you normally let me do it? And I was like, yeah, but I like walking with you guys, you know? I mean, it's it's kind of a time that we spend away from um, tech, you know? And sometimes, yes, we record, but mainly we just walk together and enjoy outside and talk a bit, you know? So... It was a lovely morning. I feel like I, even though I didn't do surface cleaning this weekend, I had a lot of fun and I felt very accomplished in the um, decluttering that I did this weekend. I did my, um, my, like, what's that, what would that drawer be called? towel and sheet drawer cabinet in the in the hall and it actually because we just don't really have dressers in our house it's also the the two really large drawers we've been using for socks and uh, because you know when the kids lived with us it was kind of a central place that everybody could bring their socks and it, you could find socks pretty easily and it's kind of just developed into the sock area but it's a big, huge mess, and because none of the socks were really, geez, that was scary, um, none of the socks were really organized, it was, um, it would, to hang out, we couldn't even close the drawers, and so this weekend I actually pulled both drawers out, and I, um, I matched them, and I put them together just like, um, Marie Kondo says to do it. And so it was really nice this morning because I could see what I had and, and that the pairs were together this morning and it was very, very satisfying to to pull out stuff and have clothing. You know, I, I also, as I, I think I said previously, I did my clothes, my shirts and uh, dresses and such. I got rid of some dresses that don't really fit me anymore or that I never really liked the way I looked at them. So getting ready this morning was interesting because it's like I knew where everything was it felt super organized and stress-free and it was just nice to walk around without you know piles of clothing in baskets all over the place so I'm hoping that what I did this weekend will kind of encourage Robert since he's off for the next two days to maybe get some stuff done because I didn't really do any dishes or anything so I know he'll probably just do basic cleaning but I don't know he had socks on this morning, and so I asked him, so what did it feel like to just get in there and pull out a pair of socks super easy? And he was like, no, it's okay. Mm, you know, like a guy. I mean, I guess men don't have the same love of organization as I do, but, oh, it made me really happy. Because I like colored socks, and I like being able to wear the fun colored socks and not just the white socks. We've been white sock people forever, and I got really tired of it. It's boring. It has no like excitement to it you know besides the fact that most white socks don't stay white for very long they end up being gray or beige you know from washing them so much so it's just really fun to put on girly socks that are strange you know whatever on there today i'm wearing avocado socks and they make me happy so yeah i found a bunch of belts i did a bunch of laundry I put away a bunch of laundry, and so I was a little bummed because I, I felt like I did really good this weekend, but when I weighed this morning, I gained two pounds, and I think it's just because I don't hydrate as well as I should on the weekends. I'm hoping that's what it is, and um, I know I ate a lot of cheese. We had, um, I had purchased the lunch sized, not lunch, uh, sandwich sized um, provolone cheese circles, you know, 
And I laid nine of them out on a, a, a wax paper sheet. Wow, the sunrise is really pretty this morning. Um, you'll probably see it when I'm driving. Um, so I laid those out on a, on a sheet of parchment and I put them in the oven at 350. Lost track of them a little bit, so they got a little crunchy. But they actually worked really good as like tostada shells. And if I think about it next time, I'm probably going to put them on the muffin, the upside down muffin uh, pan so that they'll be the shape of tacos because, hello. So, um, I mean, once the, the meat touched them, they did soften up and they kind of did end up turning out to be like soft tacos. But, um, and I will say that they end up having holes in them. So that was a little bit troublesome. Just because, you know, obviously you don't want all of your stuff squishing out holes on your taco. But they were still really good. So we had taco meat on um, provolone shells with a little cheese on top and sour cream and, and salsa. And that's what we had for dinner last night. And I probably had four or five pieces of cheese. I'm just being honest, that's probably what I had. Um, so... I'm hoping that I'm just moving things through my system and that I can actually gain two pounds because I don't really know how I would have done that. I don't feel like I would, I really overate. I did drink the last bit of that protein drink, but, you know, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if the next couple of days it kind of all goes off. I felt like I did really good, like I said, so I, I was kind of surprised that I didn't at least keep a low number. I mean, I think I was at... 193.8 maybe and I started the weekend at 191.8 so that's my deal but I'm excited my friend is back from her vacation for her birthday and so now we will go full on back into insanity workout and it's gonna be really good I'm excited um so other than my tidying and what we had for dinner last night. And our lovely walk this morning. Robert's gonna, I don't know what he's gonna do today. He's feeling better finally. I asked him this morning if he was finally done with his sugar um, symptoms. And he said, yeah, he thought so. That was a really long amount of time to have a sugar withdrawal symptom. And um, that's no joke, you know? I mean, I guess because we always have such small amounts that it's it's never as noticeable as that much sugar and then stopping because that showed some serious, serious side effects. And I will tell you, I think we talked about this previously when I made that um, sweet barbecue rub for the chicken and I told Robert that it had sugar in it. Yesterday, I threw away that because like the very first ingredient is sugar. So... Um, it was not something I noticed when I purchased it way back when. So I definitely really liked it. And so I thought this is not something I need to have at my house, to be honest. So I threw it away. That's the thing that happened. I mean, I guess I could bring some of these up to work. But, you know, if, if it's not good enough for me to eat, I don't necessarily want to give it to my coworkers, even if they don't care. I don't know that that's really what I want to be sending out into the world. Maybe that's weird. But I'm going to go to work today. We're going to work out at lunch. Um, I'm excited. I, I ordered a, a, a reusable K-cup. I think I've mentioned this before, probably. Um, because we have, we have a Keurig at work that our company kind of lets us have. I mean, we pay for it out of our budget, but they still let us have it. And um, I would like to have coffee, but I don't, you know, they talk so much in, in our diet and such that the Keurig has a lot of um, mold and stuff in them because of how they, they prepare them and everything. And so what I was thinking was I would get that uh, reusable and then just bring coffee from home. And then all I really had to contend with is the fact that the water is going to be really hot which is whatever, you know, I can survive. I mean, I have my butter and I have my um, oil up there. So I usually have coffee for lunch anyway. And then I just have a big dinner with Robert at home. So that's how I, that's how I do my one meal a day. Um, 
maybe it's cheating having the oil and, and the, the butter and stuff, but it makes me happy. And for the most part, it works. It's usually me that doesn't work well, so that's just my own personal growth that needs to improve. Anywho, I am going to run by the lake and get me a little bit of um, universal energy poured in, and then I'm going to head on to work and get going. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're having a good one, and may your week be awesome. Keto on, friends. Bye. Just look at that beautiful sunrise. It is so pretty. Gorgeous colors. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Hey guys, it is afternoon. I have gone to work. Robert has not. Slacker that he Lazy is. Lazy bum today. Yep. And now we are walking Daisy in absolutely gorgeous weather. Let's look at them. I've just been playing see, with machines today. See all those beautiful. Yep. Everything is budding. Of course, it's supposed to snow on Monday. Yeah. So that's the thing that's supposed to happen. Yep. This is normally what happens. People are like, oh, it's gorgeous. Let's get some stuff done. And they go no. plant stuff and things die. No. So in Oklahoma, you have to wait till the last freeze, which is usually the first part of March. But sometimes April. But sometimes April. And sometimes February. Yeah. And then sometimes it doesn't really freeze all year. Yeah. And those are the summers and the bugs are wonderful. Oh, God, they're so horrible. It's like an infestation. Of parasites and trees and all kinds of stuff. Yep. But you know, it's Oklahoma for you. Robert has learned what it's like to be an Oklahoma. He is a transplant. Which basically means that if you have any type of asthma or hay fever, or yeah, allergies you're screwed. of any sort, you're just screwed. It will be multiplied. Yeah. I have a lot of coworkers that I work with that have allergies, and they're very whiny. I've been to a lot of parts days. of the country, and Oklahoma is the only one that affects me with allergies. Really? Yep. That's kind of interesting to me, actually. Uh, ain't it great? Because mine, my only one is tree pollen. Because the only mm -hmm. time I ever sneeze is when I have tree pollen. Well, uh, I, I, there's there's several tree pollens. There's a cottonwoods. Yeah. Yeah. So spring is normally my time of, of sneeziness. Yeah, but my spring and summer. Spring, summer, and fall. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. My sister You'll always had allergies growing up. I was like, what the heck is going on? Mm -hmm. Now I see that. I woke up with my eyes matted mm -hmm. shut. I Humongous like, oh. headaches. Yep. He, yep. Hates, he always gets headaches. That's oh, yeah, real bad. And the kind of headache that he gets no amount of medicine really works on. No, not really. It's just it's pressure. It's an allergy thing. And and all my sinus cavities swell. Yeah. And it just feels like somebody's got their brain in, my, in, in their fist. Yeah. Just squeezing it. Squeezing the life right out of you. Yeah. It's wonderful. Yeah. Okay, I think we're headed back now. We're going to have dinner. Um, Robert made... Chicken thighs. Chicken thighs. Air fried chicken thighs. Air. Hey, that rhymes. What's the flavoring? Uh, it's some of the barbecue rubs. I tried yeah. to stay away from the... Sugar I threw the one. one. I threw that one away. Oh, okay. I totally yep. tossed it. Oh, that's why I didn't find sugar in the ones I did. Yep. I was a good girl. I threw it away. Ooh. Are you proud of me? Yeah. Of course you are. And a little bit of stuff your mom stuff. So. Oh, great. He's going to burn my face off, y'all. You're my witness. She still eats it, so it can't be that bad. It's pretty rough, but I might have some goat cheese to go with it to help me get it done. So I still got some uh, French cream cheese. Yeah? Yeah. Birds everywhere. She's talking oh, to birds. birds. Oh, wow, they're good. Oh, they got quiet. Oh, they're probably. Oh, uh-oh. Daisy really likes to visit these dogs, but they're just mean. I don't like them. They scare me. This is far as I'm going. Oh, yeah. I don't want to everywhere I go. See, they fight. I like it. They make me sad because they bite at each other. So I try not to put her over there because I don't want one of the dogs to get me bit just because of Daisy. I don't think she really does either. She runs. Say hi, Daisy. Say hi, you too, Daisy. Oh, that's nice. Alright, well, we're home. She has pooped. 
We have been successful. There's Where your car coming. Where should we? Okay, we're moving. Okay. We'll talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Have a great Monday. Later.